welcome to Deadly Dames. So Claire recently picked up a, a model kit. Now it is a recast of a Ray Harryhausen design. Now I know he didn't originally design the Kong figure, but I think this is like off one of his model designs. I, I don't know why his name's on it, but it was a recast because our, the brand new model of this costs a fortune. But she wanted to be challenged, a big King Kong fan, and wanted to see what, what she could do with this. Claire right, likes to say she's crap at talking, but she's going to try. And I'll help. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> this is uh, the first bit that I did was just a, a complete coat apart from his boobies and his abdomen and parts of his face. Just a... Like a base a, coat. Uh, so it was a silk, silky matte black. <clears throat> and then over the top of that, my intention was to do some dry brushing so that I would have like a silky matte undercoat and then a kind of drier, lighter over overcoat. So... Once I did that first coat, I painted his face and his boobies and his abdomen. Why do you keep saying boobies? <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I say boobies. <laughs> but she um, made her made his boobs too light. So I mm. added a bit of a moan at me about that. So the next stage was to dry brush his hair. So just to, to make know. it stand out a wee bit. So it doesn't really look that great in this picture. But he does have kind of very kind of black undercoat for his fur and then this lighter dry when you brushing. dry brush it it really does start to like bring it to, to life mm -hmm. because it shows definition it looks like it's actual fur. So here I, I darkened his uh, pecs he's, since he's, he don't like boobies his pecs <laughs> and never his... said I don't like boobies <laughs> but, uh, and uh, it, it looked better. Skin. It looked better with some darker with a so, bit of uh, shading on it. So I used quite a lot of uh, I used the Citadel brand paints that's Warhammer, I don't know, I think it's called Warhammer now. Mm -hmm. It used to be Games Workshop. So I used um, like a kind of bone white paint for his teeth. And and they do like a a glaze that you can mm -hmm. put over it to kind of make him a little bit yellow, a little bit unbrushed. So it gives that nice, uh, he's probably been eating some bad stuff effect. So at this point I did his face, but I still had quite a bit of work to do on the rest of him. You used gunmetal for his belt, mm -hmm. and then you would you would you pull the top of the gunmetal because there's two. Um, I think it was flat aluminium, and I used Maddie a huge bunch of key rings hanging up I've next to the door with no years. keys on it, doing nothing. They were really dusty and minging. They've just been there so, for a long time. <laughs> they've been there for ages, and I finally found a use for them. Um, because this was a recast, it didn't come with the original chains. So I had to, it was painstaking, I had to hold it with a set of pliers and glue onto his, uh, his shackles. So that, and then, that's the finished King mm -hmm. Kong there. Um, you even made like a little base for him so uh -huh. it looked like he was on so laminated I just, flooring from, uh, was it balsa wood? Uh, I used balsa wood that I stained using, again it was the Citadel shade. Um, it's Those like, shade paints are really good. Uh -huh. they, they add a lot of texture to stuff, uh, to stuff, and a lot of shading. But all I used was just a bit of scrap weed that I had lying in the shed, painted the size black, and then put the balsa wood on top. So I thought it looked quite nice just to set him off because he's, like, he's kind of grey and black, and the thing he's standing on is kind of metallic and dark. And, yeah. So I thought it was quite a nice touch. Um, obviously it's a bit annoying that it doesn't have all the. The parts like the chains and but it does cost a fortune to buy it brand new so sometimes getting it as a recast yes you've got to do a wee bit of extra thinking outside the box but sometimes it's, it's quite good to mm -hmm. get inventive and see how you could do it like try to make chains out of a keyring so it was good <laughs> <laughs> i feel like i that's with the flash on it doesn't his boobs oh, he still looks, look quite light he looks terrible with the flash on well i was trying to get a full color of it but and a full view of what you actually looked like, but and you can see like the gunmetal on the stand there, and like the shading that's had to go into that. I think Claire's did a really, really good job of this. Um, so you can the see only, the dry brushing a bit better. Yeah, from the that only angle. input I put to this is uh, I literally just said, "Can you darken his boobs?" Because I thought they were too light and they stood out too much. Okay, I'll mm. admit you were right. Ha ha! Finally, I'm right. But yeah, I think she's done a fantastic job. When you look at the face on Kong, he's very intense. Because I remember you saying you weren't going to do like colour to his eyes. You just wanted to make them really dark. And I think that was definitely the, the right choice with Kong, was to make him that dark. Well, um, I did want him to look... Like his eyes that dark, I mean. I wanted his eyes to look like the original 
film. Right, because he, well, he's pissed off at this stage. Let's face it, they've kidnapped him. They've lured him in with the idea he's going to get a nice blonde woman, taken him to a foreign country and then chained him up. He's pissed off at this stage and you captured that perfectly in his face. Did they? You did. Pissed off call. But, yeah, I think um, we just kind of wanted to do a run through because we've obviously shown you some of our models before but not the step-by-step -step on how we've done them. If you want to ask anything about them, leave comments below. I think Claire's done a wonderful job. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this and um, take care.